How do I motivate my people? How do I build respect and trust? These are some of the questions that I often get asked as a coach. If you watch this video, I'll explain what I've done as a manager over the past 25 years to motivate employees. It might not be what you expect. Hi, I'm Andy Whitehead, International Executive Coach and Founder of The Leadership Mojo, the place where managers come to learn to lead themselves and others better. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because that motivates me to keep building and providing content like this every week. This week, it's all about motivation. How do you motivate your employees? But more importantly, how do you build intrinsic motivation? So let's get into it. A big mistake that a lot of managers make is that they think that motivation is all about giving employees extra money or prizes or rewards, when actually you want to try and build intrinsic motivation. And that's when employees are doing things because they really want to make a difference. They've found their purpose. The three ways that I would do that are these. Firstly, build your own emotional intelligence. You need to be able to connect with your employees. Now, emotional intelligence is a, it's not a difficult model to understand, but if you don't put the practice in, you won't really get good at it. The five key elements of emotional intelligence are self-awareness. So that's how you recognize what you're thinking, what you're feeling and the emotions that you have. More importantly, how they impact on other people. It's self-regulation. So how do you manage what you're thinking, what you're feeling and the emotions you're having? It's all about self-control. The third is motivation, or more importantly, your motivation. How do you find your own purpose? When you're actually delivering a piece of work, are you doing it because you genuinely want to do it, or are you only doing it because of the money? When people are truly motivated, they'll do it because they're motivated to do it. The fourth is social awareness. How do you recognize what your employees are thinking, feeling, what the emotions that they are having? This is about how you can walk in their shoes and understand them really, really well. And fifth, social skills. How do you build relationships with people at work? It's all about developing rapport, finding that common ground. The second key element that I would focus on to build intrinsic motivation is coaching. Really good managers are good coaches. It's as simple as that. In essence, you ask questions. You don't give answers. You support your employees. You don't judge them. You facilitate the development of their careers. You don't just tell them what to do and when to do it. But don't take my word for it. This is what John Whitmore says. Coaching is unlocking people's potential to maximize their own performance. And the third key element to building intrinsic motivation, become an expert at leadership conversations. Now, every employee deserves to be led properly. You will have a vision that they can get behind and you've probably communicated it like Winston Churchill would. But at some point, you have to have one-to-one -one conversations with your team. You need to be able to set clear objectives. You need space so that you can identify development needs and support them to actually grow. But sometimes you'll also have to have those challenging conversations when you need to bring some behavioral issues back in line. Your go-to approach for this, leadership conversations. And those are the three key areas that I've used over the past 25 years to try and motivate staff intrinsically. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, please consider giving us a like and why not share it onto your colleagues. And thanks for watching. 